Hey, Southwest family, and welcome to another edition of the Southwest Spotlight. I'm Janice Hernandez. Today's segment is going to address many questions regarding any of your activities and ceremonies around our senior class. To help answer some of these questions, we have Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Lori Bursta, Southwest High School Principal, Paul Black, and Southwest Legacy High School Principal, Joseph Guidry. Thank you for joining us. Uh, I know the school year has not turned out the way ex we expected, especially for our senior class. So tell us a little bit about some of the ongoing planning that uh, administration has been um, going through, especially with our senior class and, and graduation and, and all these end of year ceremonies. Well, we wanted to uh, personalize a message to uh, all of our students, but specifically our uh, pending graduate students at Southwest High School and Southwest Legacy High School. And so we have Mr. Black and we have Mr. Guidry uh, on this uh, opportunity, virtual opportunity to kind of personalize our message. Uh, and we're doing that in conjunction with posting up additional information about uh, Southwest ISD uh, graduates of 2020. And uh, there's some more information. If uh, students will go to uh, their campus website, uh, they'll find a link that talks about some things that we're working on, things that we're doing. Um, we know for our seniors, uh, especially, uh, we left uh, school this year for spring break and, and we really never came back from spring break. And uh, we know that we're dealing with a world pandemic. And, and so the world uh, that we left before spring break is a lot different uh, today uh, than, than it was then. And so we feel, uh, really bad for uh, what our seniors are having to go through because at the end of a school experience, there's a lot of uh, traditional uh, ceremonies that students partake in, that we celebrate all the years of their school experience, we celebrate their accomplishments and, and their recognitions, and, and that's gonna be different this year. Uh, and before I even get into the messaging, I just wanna uh, say that uh, first and foremost, uh, you know, our, our hearts and our prayers go out to those families who have been uh, directly impacted uh, by this COVID-19 event, and especially those uh, who may have uh, lost loved ones or, or family members or friends, uh, we're in a pretty serious time. And so uh, we have not been here uh, as, a, as a country, as a school district, as a city, uh, but we're here today. And the safety and well-being of our students is always first and foremost in everything that we do. And, and so we, we know that this, huge life interruption for our pending graduates and all of our students and all of our families, but our pending graduates, because they're not going to be able to come back next year, they're completing their years and then they're going off to do uh, really great things in life. And, and there is a future uh, beyond this pandemic. And, and we just need to keep preparing for that at the same time, keeping everyone uh, safe. And so what we're going to cover today is, is basically some information about uh, what are some of the, the traditional things that we would normally do for our, our graduates uh, to let them know that we're going to continue to do those things. They will look different uh, than they have in the past. Uh, uh, because of crowd restrictions, uh, we cannot come together as a large group or in large crowds, uh, but it doesn't mean that uh, we can't continue to acknowledge and validate and, and recognize uh, this phenomenal graduating groups of students uh, and, and what they did for their 12, 13 years in, in public education. There are some lifetime memories that uh, graduates before this uh, basically had uh, where they were able to kind of walk down the boulevard uh, for their senior walk. Uh, They're able to walk down the boulevard at Southwest Legacy and Southwest High School, uh, that kind of informal thing that culminated in the car giveaway. We still want to do those things. Uh, we're going to do it virtually. And uh, we also have uh, a live uh, Facebook live event uh, scheduled for May the 4th. And all this information is, is on the website uh, platform that we're putting out for graduates of 2020. Um, we're gonna recognize uh, our different groups of students. Uh, we're planning to, no matter what, our plan is to do something face-to-face -face, uh, uh, when it comes to commencement for all of our students. Uh, if and when we are allowed to. Uh, but we are also going to move forward with uh, preparing for a virtual commencement for both Southwest Legacy, Southwest High School. Uh, and so there'll be more information uh, coming out about that. Um, our goal is to make sure that even though it's going to be a 
different into the school, uh, public school experience for uh, almost 1,000 graduates between our two high schools, uh, that is still something they can be proud of. Um, I, I uh, you know, we embrace the fact that uh, a lot of our students um, didn't get to complete um, their experience in sports or in fine arts or, or in uh, uh, various different programs through, throughout our district. Um, and we didn't come together uh, to uh, recognize our, our National Technical Honor Society or National Honor Society culminating year-end event. Um, but we're going to be doing things for those groups virtually uh, and, and differently. Um, so we understand uh, the way our students feel. Um, but we also want them to, to know that uh, beyond this pandemic and beyond this time, uh, they do have a great life ahead of them. They have a great future ahead of them. Uh, and our goal here today is to come uh, as face to face as we can, uh, virtually face to face, I guess, and uh, just kind of deliver this message, uh, direct everyone uh, to the website uh, platform that we have for graduates of 2020 uh, to encourage uh, students if they have questions to send them into us. Uh, I know that Mr. Black, and Mr. Gidry are going to uh, field some of those questions here uh, today uh, for our students. Um, so we're we're, we want to encourage a two-way communication. And so beyond, beyond this Zoom or, or, or this opportunity to speak directly to our students, uh, we, we want to encourage that two-way communication to continue. Well, it definitely has been a difficult transition for our families. Um, so one of the first questions that we have um, is regarding our cap and gown in class ring for our senior class. So uh, if Joseph and Paul wouldn't mind addressing that question. So we've been in contact or communication with Herb Jones, who's our, who's our vendor with uh, cap and gowns. We know we have been building questions regarding cap and gowns, so we, we have some news. So, so within the next week, possibly the week of the fourth, we will, we will set a time up for a scene. Of course, it will be a drive-by um, curbside pickup, but we will be uh, delivering those, and Herb Jones will be on both sites, as a matter of fact, to, to deliver those to those kids. Um, so that's coming, and I know that's been a big one. Um, I'm sure with both, uh, both schools, but that is coming. And then we will, again, like Dr. Versa mentioned, we'll be putting that information on the website as well. Because we're, we're also dealing with the problems that, that our whole nation is dealing with. Herf Jones doesn't have all the products in yet from their factories because of whether it's transportation, trucking issues, or factory issues. Uh, we're waiting on this. Make sure they have all their stuff in so that we can try to get as many cap and gowns distributed at one time instead of having people come come up and come up and and uh, just really get back and forth on that so that's what we're waiting for as well as to make sure we can get as many of those uh here and delivered at one time as well so um another question that we see a lot coming up on our facebook feeds and our, our uh, twitter feeds is regarding the yearbooks for this year for both high schools uh i guess uh, everyone is asking what the status is on that, how can they pick them up? So similar to what Mr. Black says, it's, it, it's up to the plants right now. I know we've already submitted our, our information to the actual vendor itself. So right now we're kind of at the mercy of them, but I know they're working on it. We submitted our order um, a couple of weeks ago. So they have the information, they have the pictures. Um, all, we, all we're waiting is for them to, to send it back. But as soon as we get that information as well, We'll make sure to place it on our website and we'll do the same plan with the curbside uh, pickup. We're in the same situation. I, I, I'm not sure exactly where our uh, yearbooks are. I believe they're in route. Uh, so we're just kind of waiting for those to get here as well so that uh, we can distribute them probably a curb side basis. Well, I know there's going to be in, in our in our link or in our web page that we have. Um, will be able to uh, allow students to go to a link there and, and order their yearbook. And really the best way on cap and gowns too is go to the, which is gonna be in our website as well too, uh, the Herf Jones site so that you can uh, order or pay, make your payments for your cap and gowns as well too. Those things are all be done virtually. We will not be doing any sort of payment plans or exchange of money here on sites at all. It's gonna be strictly pick up what's already been paid for. Well, I, legacy as well. I think for planning purposes for, for our, our students 
our graduates and parents, uh, I think we might be looking somewhere around, uh, somewhere between the first two weeks in May to possibly do a curbside uh, type pickup uh, for those items. And, and that's kind of where we're planning. Uh, of course, as Mr. Black and Mr. Guidry said, we're, we're kind of subject uh, to uh, working with kind of challenges in delivery. And once we get the items uh, on site, uh, then we can be more specific about what times we can do curbside pickup. But that's how we plan to distribute those items, I do believe. Another question for one of our Facebook fans is uh, refunds on campus events um, and so for example, prom. So what, how are uh, parents and, and students getting a refund on those? As far as prom goes, um, uh, we are in the, of course, doing everything virtually now uh, has been a little bit slower in process because people are working from home and that includes our district personnel because we want to keep them as safe as possible and also follow our health guidelines. So um, they are uh, in the process. Um, it, all the students that did buy and pay for a, a prom ticket uh, for Southwest, um, those check requests have been filled and you should be getting something in the mail within the next week or so. Um, and, and if you don't, the best thing you do is, you know, you can send an email to me or send an email to our bookkeeper here at Southwest High School, Cindy McEwen. Same thing applies for legacy. So we're in the process of doing that as well, but I would appreciate it for parents. If you know your child did a pay for the prom, now we have that list and we will be also doing the same thing. We, we will mail out the checks to the actual uh, address that we have listed, but if they could email me, um, that way with the actual address so we can make sure we get that check to the right, to the right place. And my email is jgidry, G-U-I-D-R-Y, at S-W-I-S-D. And again, this is for those who did pay for the prom, and we want to make sure we, we do refund your loans. Thank you so much, Joseph. Um, and one of the final questions that we have is regarding testing. Um, there are some things that they've been asking about rescheduling testing or testing for certain, uh, you know, future college uh, courses. So any, any thoughts on that or do we have any responses for that? Um, most of our testing questions and even graduation as a whole, uh, are pretty much being handled through our counseling department, through our counseling website and our guidance and counseling sections on our, both of our, our web pages. Um, so if you're having a question about graduation, if you have a question about credits or some people think that with this pandemic that seniors, all seniors automatically graduate, which is not the case. You still need to fulfill the requirements set down by the state of Texas. Um, so getting with your counselor, whether it's about testing questions, credit questions, attendance questions, all those things are handled through our guidance and counseling pages. Um, and so if students have questions about that, that's their best source. If they're online with any teacher and are having questions, then obviously go through your teacher as well too. Your teacher will be more than happy to assist and guide you, uh, take your email or, or whatever your, your uh, connected uh, device is, whether it's phone or email or whatever, and make sure the counselors know that you're, you have a question in that regard. The thing for us is your counselor is gonna be your, your main point of contact. Um, which would be Mr. Britton, who's our senior counselor. But again, all the counselors, they're there to help you um, get with your teachers as well too. And as well, send me an email as well too. I'll make sure to follow up with you. I'll also get with the, uh, with the appropriate counselor to make sure that we get those questions answered for you. And I do wanna encourage our students and our parents to make contact with our counselors, with our teachers, with our principals. We have been available uh, through email. We have a community FAQ out, a survey where we're uh, getting questions from our community members. Even through social media, we're asking everyone to please visit our uh, websites and our Facebook sites and just ask away and we'll be able to provide as many responses as possible to these questions. So uh, as we wrap up, I know Dr. Verstuff did touch on uh, commencement um, and other end of year ceremonies and the possibility of those being virtual, but is there anything else that any of you would like to add to our community? I think I just want to clarify um, that piece of it, because I know that it, there are a lot of questions around commencement. And, uh, I want to make sure everyone understands commencement is a ceremony and, and graduating from high school is based on 
the, the credits that you accrued over time. And, and so they're separate. So the ceremony is separate from graduating. But all of our students who, who meet their credit requirements and, and fulfill the state requirements uh, will graduate from high school. Our date for commencement of this year is June 6, 2020 is uh, the date when both Legacy and Southwest High School have been graduating. We're pretty confident that we're not going to be able to hold uh, any type of uh, crowd event on that day. Uh, but what we do plan to run on that day uh, is our virtual commencement at both of our high schools. And then as a plan B, uh, in the event something were to happen, uh, and we can later in the summer hold some type of face-to-face -face modified or, or smaller version of a graduation commencement, uh, we still have the Alamo Dome uh, scheduled for July 30th. Uh, and uh, you know we're committed to doing something uh, when circumstances uh, of this time that we're in would allow us to get together for our 2020 graduates. And, and so it's, um, I want to encourage everyone to, to remain resilient through this process because I think um, we will get through this, but it, but it is a huge interruption. Uh, and it does take away a lot of lifetime memories uh, that we traditionally would have for our graduates, but we're going to do uh, the best we can because we think we have the best kids in, in the state of Texas and the nation and, and some of the best families and we want to do our due diligence uh, uh, but we're going to have to operate within certain guardrails to make sure we keep everyone safe in, in uh, preparing for their future and so we're going to continue that uh, going down that road. Um, we are looking to honor uh, every night uh, our seniors of 2020, our graduates of 2020 and so I really want to encourage uh, all of our seniors, all of our students, but especially our seniors, uh, to uh, put a mark on your calendar for May the 4th at approximately 8 p.m. where we have a, a special uh, kind of uh, virtual senior walk uh, with our virtual car giveaway uh, and then a uh, Facebook Live event uh, that we'd like all of our seniors to kind of plug in and be part of that night. And with that, you know, we are Southwest and uh, we are going to make the best of the situation. I, I think we have two phenomenal principals uh, who are very uh, student uh, oriented and advocates uh, of our youth. And, and so uh, we're going to continue with a positive attitude as a moving forward and supporting our students and supporting the futures. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Versta. Mr. Black? If I can just close off by saying, you know, throughout our country, uh, our are, it, it's funny to think, but really our, our students are what are keeping us going uh, because the majority of the jobs that are available right now are our food supply chain. And within that food supply chain, you think of fast foods and grocery stores. Well, most of our high school students, that's their work, that's their job. And so high school students are in a lot of places manning those fast food chains, they're helping out at the, at the HEBs and all the other grocery stores, Walmarts. Um, that's really a big time high school and teenage component. Um, so our teenagers, um, uh, our high school students have really taken the bull by the horns and are helping and impacting our society today. I just wanted to say again, before we, we were off, is just guys, trust we're thinking of you, we love you. We are thinking about you every single day and we're doing everything we can as a district, as a community to come together and make sure that we continue to, to try and make these Sunday ceremonies special for you because you guys are making that happen. So I just want to say thank you and hey, just stay safe, stay strong. And I want to thank all of you for taking the time to speak with us today and thank you all for watching. We are Southwest. <laughs>